Hello and welcome to another episode of Activist Stories. And today we're talking about public transport. Last weekend, I went to the Fixed New South Wales Public Transport Rally. We could just start to get a picture of how many attacks this government is launching on public transport just from the diversity of different local community groups from across New South Wales at this rally. People were taking up things from the privatisation of buses and trains and ferries. And this privatisation has led to increased fares. And on top of that, the services are running less than they were before anyway. So it's led to both a worse service and you're paying more for it. That's privatisation for you. And we also saw a strong contingent from the Rail, Tram and Bus Drivers Union. They're being forced to work overtime on services that the government is not employing enough staff to work, which is leading to driver fatigue, safety issues, and is crippling a transport system that is close to breaking point. And then when they wanted to go on strike to protest for better conditions that would mean a better public transport system for everyone in the state, the Fair Work Commission ruled they could not go on strike. And the biggest issue at this rally were people protesting against that monstrosity that is called West Connects, a $45 billion road project that nobody wants. Projects like West Connects are something that we are seeing across the country as a solution to increase traffic congestion. When all the studies out there actually show completely the opposite, that you build more roads and more cars come and at least increase traffic congestion. And not just are these road projects damaging to the environment and health, they're also sucking billions of dollars away from public transport. And then we're seeing the Transport Minister, Constance, a couple of years ago came out and said, and I quote, Last year we actually lost money, which of course means it's unsustainable in the long term. That was his justification for hiking up transport fares yet again. And yet this government has $45 billion that can fraud a road project that nobody wants, yet it can't seem to invest in public transport, and public transport has to be run as a for-profit model, yet it can spend billions and billions of dollars on a road that no one wants, which they're going to give out to toll companies that are then going to charge us, the public, millions and millions and millions of dollars to actually use the damn roads of which our public money has been used to build, which could have been used to spend money on public transport. We have seen people across the country coming out in their local communities and organising against these projects. In Melbourne we saw the campaign against the East-West Link win victories. In Fremantle in Western Australia we saw the campaign against the Railway Road Building Project win victories as well. And in both times, massive community campaigns forced the Labour Party to change its policy and come out and oppose these projects. In Sydney, over the last few years, we have seen the community campaign against West Connects building and building and building from local community rallies to a really inspiring candlelight procession we had along one of the routes last year. to the rally that was had last weekend, which involved people from a, many different suburbs across Sydney. And this kind of movement is the kind of movement that can stop these monstrosities and fight for a public transport future. A public transport future which had had numerous benefits for all of us. It would have health benefits, social benefits, economic benefits, as well as being a key part of tackling climate change. To get involved in this campaign, you can find your local community group, of which there are many across Sydney. Links will be in the description below. You can also read Green Left Weekly, which has been covering this campaign week in, week out for the last few years. You can find me on social media and my blog, links will be in the description. And let me know in the comments what you think of this really inspiring campaign that's been developed. And let's go out and win a sustainable public transport future.